Hello mga kababayan, welcome to our program. Ako po si G. Tonji and we are broadcasting from Los Angeles, California. We celebrate the Filipino artists today on our program. Kasama natin si Eliseo Art Silva, who is the author of Filipinos of Greater Philadelphia and an artist known internationally for his signature work, the 1995 Filipino Town Mural. Kung hindi nyo po napuntahan yan, that's in downtown in historic Filipino Town. Puntahan nyo po, napakaganda. He was born the same year as martial law was declared in the Philippines began painting murals shortly after becoming a part of the 1986 EDSA People Power Revolution and received a BFA at Otis College of Art and Design and an MFA at the Mar Maryland Institute College of Art. Uh, kasama niya rin ngayong hapon na ito si Lynn Pacificar, a dear friend of mine who is a Filipino-American artist and whose lineage is uh, from a lineage of healers rather born in Los Angeles of Ilongo and Waray descent. She is an oil and mixed media painter who expresses deep emotion, self-progression, and spiritual connection through underwater imagery to the exploration of the expansive universe. Oh, di ba naman? At kasama rin natin si Hannah ACBD. She is an illustrator and musician based here in Los Angeles. She's a multimedia arts graduate of De La Salle College of St. Benil's School of Design and Art and has exhibited her work in Manila, Philippines, Richmond, Virginia, and here in Los Angeles, California. Her illustration style is a mix of digital and traditional art and incorporating florals and portraits of people in various states of thought. And also joining all of them is the Philam Arts Interim Director, Tina Bulchand. Hello, mga kababayan, and welcome to our program. Uh, you guys are so impressive. I was like, ang da uh, grabe, ang galing, ang galing ng mga guests natin. But I'm very excited to have all of you here. I truly believe that the artist is a cultural bearer. You define what it means um, for our community. Uh, so, Eliseo, let's talk about curating this event that you're doing with all these Filipino artists. It's called Buklod, and it's happening this weekend. Share more information about it. Buklod was uh, conceived by uh, Tina. Uh, we had a conversation about, you know, coming together the different generations of Filipino Americans, and also the fact that we need to have a shared uh, experience or have a shared vision. So as part of what we're trying to do here with Filipino American artists is to visualize that shared experience, uh, so that we'll have a shared vision and have probably come together like Buklod, the word Buklod means. All yeah. right, so it's so. a coming together of artists, artists. right? Um, Lynn, I know that you've been busy working on your art because I see all these amazing artworks that you're doing. Yeah. They are huge scale, they're, they're not like small. I have a few small pieces, but I prefer working on a large scale, yeah. Okay, so how does your culture as a Filipina American play in part to the work that you create as an artist? Um, as far as culture goes, I think I'm coming out as a contemporary artist, a contemporary Filipina American artist. Mm -hmm. um, there's not many of us that I know of out there in the scenery, and our representation is very minimal. Mm. So being in Buklod is, is quite an opportunity as a Filipino American and representing our culture. And it is also deeply rooted within me as well since it is reflecting my experience with uh, my dad passing away in 2015 and some of my art is reflecting that in my experiences in the Philippines. Okay, um, mm -hmm. as we know, um, being a Filipino artist is not something that, you know, our parents encourage us to pursue, right? <laughs> Anak, maging artist ka! Magaling yan, di ba? <laughs> Hannah, yeah. I know that you're originally from the Philippines. Yes. Um, how did you have that conversation with your parents that this was something that you were going to pursue mm -hmm. being an artist? Because that's a conversation that's very difficult to have. Right. Um, so my parents actually encouraged me. With, what? Yeah. Like, Galing high five yeah. to your parents, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're very creative, so mm -hmm. they want me to pursue that. Um, at first, they only did like music lessons for me, but mm -hmm. then as time passed, I also liked to do art already, and so they were just like, you know, just do your thing. 
we will support you all the way. So that's really rare and special. For yes, yeah. how lucky for you. Mm -hmm. As we know, Tina, it's so difficult um, for artists, mm -hmm. especially when you're part of a minority. I know this is the work that you do with Philem Arts. Tell us more about the organization and the support that you do for the Filipino artists. That's exactly true, G. Because you know, um, well, my personal background is in community psychology, mm. so it's really you know having an understanding of what are the obstacles and challenges for people of different communities to come together and then figure out figuring out ways how we can like pathways to collaborating and coming together and expressing our differences and using it as an advantage rather than you know separating us so film arts was born out of that um, the festival of philippine arts and culture was born out of that mm. this um, art show was born out of a conversation i had with eliseo about well the political climate right now and then you know even the differences between first gen like first gen filipinos and then filipino americans who are born here there's such a difference and like a, you know such a gap in the understanding so we feel like this art show would kind of bring to light some of those differences in, right and bring really and bring them together yeah, look, diva. that's exactly the point of book Lord, like gathering everybody and then giving everybody the experience that look we actually share similar experiences and we share similar understanding right yeah. we are more similar than we are different aren't that's we true. okay we are talking to our Filipino artists here on Kababayan today join us for our entire show as we discover really what it makes uh, wh why it's so important that we support our artists lalo na nandito tayo sa America we'll be right back